Good evening and welcome to worship. There are a few instructions that uh, were left out of the bulletin, so I will ask you to stand or sit as we uh, go through the liturgy in a few places that are not in the bulletin, so just be aware of that. Um, we are just so pleased to uh, be using our new Ash Wednesday Holy Week uh, Sunday of the Passion pyramids. Um, wanted to explain a little bit about the, sim uh, the symbolism on the pyramids. Uh, they are intended to be used for Sundays when we would either use black or red in conjunction with the Lenten uh, Holy Week cycles. And so uh, red is the Sunday of, uh, red is the color of passion. Um, our red pyramids were not really um, passion oriented and so we now have fixed that with these. Um, and so we have the cross and the crown of thorns which are Holy Week Good Friday uh, motifs. On the uh, uh, super frontal, on the altar, um, those are passion flowers. And uh, the, um, the Palm Sunday, or what we used to call Palm Sunday, is now Sunday of the Passion. And the passion flower is one of the symbols for that. And so that's why uh, throughout Holy Week, those, uh, the passion flowers, the cross, and the crown of thorns will be sort of the focus of the, uh, the art in terms of our, uh, our chancel area. So... Thank you to those who provided these, and uh, we are very, very blessed to be able to, to use them. So let us uh, gather, let us join in the gathering hymn and stand, please.
return to the Lord your God, who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and honest hearts, so that truly repenting of our sins, we may receive from you, the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Congregation may be seated. Our first reading is from the book of Joel. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like blackness spread upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples, where is their God? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading responsibly from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. In your great compassion blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my offenses, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So you are justified when you speak, and right in your judgment. Indeed, I was born steeped in wickedness, a sinner from my mother's womb. Indeed, you delight in truth deep within me, and would have me know wisdom deep within. Remove my sins with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be purer than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness, that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my wickedness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let me teach your ways to offenders, and sinners shall be restored to you. Rescue me from bloodshed, O God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. For you take no delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You are not pleased with burnt offering. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a troubled and broken heart, O God, you will not despise. Please stand for the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, 
Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated for the hymn of the day.
We humbly pray for God to make our hearts clean, while we rejoice that now is the day of salvation. Returning to our baptismal call, we are more intentionally there the fruits of mercy and justice in the world. Our need for repentance and God's mercy. Holy God, we confess to you our faults and failings. Too often we neglect and do not trust your holy word. We take for ourselves instead of giving to others. We spoil rather than steward your creation. We cause hurt, though you call us to heal. We choose fear over compassion. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us as we seek to follow in your way of life. Amen. Hear the good news. God so loved the world that God gave the only Son so that all may receive life. This promise is for you. God embraces you with divine mercy forgives you in Christ's name. And revives you in the Spirit's power. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be a sign of our mortality and penitence, reminding us that only by the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ are we given eternal life through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Accomplish in us, O God, the work of your salvation, that we may show forth your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Savior, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Please stand. Sustained by God's abundant mercy, let us pray for the church, the world, and all of creation. O oh Lord, our God, you gather your church and call us to return to you. Accompany us throughout our Lenten pilgrimage. Create in us clean hearts and renew all the baptized to declare your praise. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Renew your creation, O God. Bring rains to parched places and heal lands affected by a changing climate. That all inhabitants of the earth experience your abundance. Merciful God, 
receive our prayer. Renew the nations, O God. Give voice to those on the margins and resolve to world leaders who seek to protect those most vulnerable. Loosen the bonds of injustice and bring an end to all violence, oppression, and persecution. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Renew your people, O God. Respond to those who cry out to you in secret or in seclusion. Equip us with compassion to care for those who experience homelessness, food insecurity, economic hardship, and illness. Tonight we pray especially for Jackie, Don, Gwen, and Danny. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Renew this congregation, O God. Inspire our faith formation ministries and those who teach and lead. Invigorate us with lifelong curiosity and wonder as we grow as your disciples. Merciful God, O oh Lord our God, we give thanks for all your faithful ones of every time and place. Renew us by the example of their lives of prayer and service, and at the last bring us with them into your everlasting presence. Merciful God, we lift our prayers to you, O oh God, trusting in your steadfast love and your promise to renew your whole creation through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Let us pray. God of good gifts, receive these and all our offerings as we present them in faithful service for the sake of your gospel. Prepare our hearts to receive you in this meal as you pour out your very presence through Christ Jesus, the wellspring of eternal life. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. On the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering his love for us on the way, at the table, and to the end, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We pray for the gift of your spirit in our gathering within this meal among your people throughout the world. Blessing, praise, and thanks to you, holy God, through Christ Jesus, by your spirit, in your church, without end. Amen. Let us join in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come and receive Jesus, our strength in the wilderness.
Please stand. Let us pray. You are what God made you to be. We were created in Christ, with Christ Jesus for good works, chosen as holy and beloved people, free to serve our neighbor. God bless us that we may be a blessing in the name of the holy and life-giving Trinity. Amen. And now God, the giver of love, Christ, the resurrection and the life, and the Holy Spirit of rebirth, bless you in this Lenten journey. Amen. Amen.